Cut, copy, and paste are three commands that you will use all the time. So let's have a look at them. The cut command is a move to the clipboard. And think of the clipboard as just some temporary spot in the memory of the computer. So let's say that we are going to move the word move. The first thing is that we need to select it. So it's now selected. I can cut it with various options. I can, can cut it by using a right click with my mouse and doing cut. And you can see that it's disappeared, but it is being held in a temporary memory spot in the computer. I'm going to undo that and I'm going to show you that I could, I can cut text out of this sentence and move it to this sentence by dragging the selected text and you can see it is cut out of here and it's been pasted over here. So when you use the drag method it is doing a cut and a paste simultaneously. There's also the method called the keyboard shortcut method, and that is by using the control X keys on your keyboard. So you do have to select the text just the same. You press and hold control X on your keyboard, and the word move is now sitting on the clipboard. I'll undo that with my control Z. It comes back. I'll leave it selected and I'll use the last option, which is to use the cut icon on the ribbon. Okay, so I will select this and I will come up to the home tab and cut it out. And now it is sitting on the clipboard. And what it's doing is it's sitting there waiting for me to paste it. So if I unexpectedly get distracted and I forget to paste it, uh, it's possible that I may lose it if this document gets closed. Uh, otherwise, it is waiting for me to paste. And I'll, I'll just click paste here and you can see the word has been pasted at the landing spot, wherever your cursor was sitting. So I'm going to undo that here and talk about copy. So it's similar to cut. The, when we copy something, it, it goes and sits in that temporary memory called the, the clipboard. So this time I'll copy... Actually, I didn't get my move back there. <laughs> I'll select this word. I'll show you that I can right click. And then I click with my left mouse the copy button and it is now sitting on the clip clipboard. I'll come just to the end of the sentence and put a space in and then I will paste it. You can see I now have this word copy copied here. I'll undo that with my control Z on my keyboard and I'll double click this word to select it and I will use a control drag. So when I press and hold the control key on the keyboard and I keep it held down, I click and hold the left mouse button and I keep it held down and I'm going to pull it, drag it over to the end of the sentence and you may notice the little plus sign that's telling you it's going to be a copy. Now what do I release first? I, it's not random. I must release the left mouse button first and then the control key. If I let go of the control key, then the copy uh, function is going to disappear. So I will undo that copy. The word still selected. And let's do the keyboard shortcut, which is control C. So my word is selected over here, control C. Looks like nothing happened, but it is sitting on the clipboard and 
if I need to now put my insertion point where I want it to land. I could put it anywhere. I could put it down here at the end of this text and press enter and then I could paste and that is where the contents, the selected text would land. I'll just undo that. And the last option that I have, let's pick a different word, this word ditto. I can use the copy icon on the ribbon. So I come here and I click copy. It doesn't look like anything's happened. I pick my landing spot. I'm going to put it right here. My insertion point is there. And I can paste it and I'll just use the icon on the ribbon. And there my word is pasted at that insertion point. I'll undo that with a control Z. Now we've already talked about paste. Paste is when you have some text sitting on the clipboard. It actually can be more than text. We can copy and paste or cut and paste text and images and files and folders. And I'll show you all examples. But right now just talking about paste, uh, it depends on what it is that we cut or copied where it gets pasted. If it's text in a document, it gets pasted into a document. Um, and if it's, if we cut or copy a file, then it gets pasted using a file explorer uh, window to put it somewhere. Now let's practice right here. Here's some black text and I'm going to uh, select this text and I'll copy it with the icon just so you can see it. And then I'm going to put my cursor here in this second uh, sentence here. And I'm going to right click and look this time now I have to make some choices here. I have a choice number one keep source formatting and if you look down below you can see a preview of that word black in the in the second sentence. If I keep the source formatting it's going to retain the smaller font. If though I choose merge formatting, it's like merging onto the highway, you are going to you are going to pick up the characteristics of the text, the surrounding text. So look at that word black down in the second sentence. You can see it's dark, it's Arial black font style. So it's going to merge with the text around it. Uh, I'm not doing a picture and let's talk about keep text only after. So it's these two options. Now that I did that with a right click, but instead I'm just going to click out there. So the paste did not happen. I'll take the word black again. This time I'm going to click the arrow at the bottom and now you can see that you have the same options. So I'll keep the source formatting and uh, whoops, I did that wrong, sorry. <laughs> I had to copy it first, click to where I want it to land, click the drop down arrow and keep source formatting and you can see it has landed here and kept its source formatting from here. Now the last thing is when you want to keep the text only. And the place that you use that, I'm going to say most often for m most people, is if you have a web page and you go and you copy some text off a web page, it brings all the formatting. And I'm going to do my control C to copy this and minimize this window and then I'm going to press enter here and I'm going to paste this text from the internet with a plain old paste and you can see that it has brought in well as well as all these images look at all the text it's it's brought in all the formatting so I'm going to undo that 
and this time I'm going to paste with the text only. And so you can see that you don't bring in the um, images. You've brought in the text. It doesn't have all the formatting. It's still not perfect and if we wanted it to sort of behave a little bit better and get it more like our original, we could change it to Calibri, but a fast way to do that is just to click the normal and uh, we will get a lot of the text looking like the rest of our document. So that's the difference between cut, copy, and paste. And before I run out of time, I just want to quickly show you that I can also cut and copy paste files. So I'm going to make a new file inside junk called uh, more, more junk. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to enter to finish my folder. If I want to copy a file, I can, I can drag it in here, but right now you can see it says move, but if I press and hold the control key, now it's turn, it turns into a copy. And I'll let that go and you can see it is inside more junk. And I'll come back to this one here. And this time I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to cut it this time with Control X. That's the keyboard shortcut. It kind of ghosts it out, puts a bit of fog over it. I'm going to go over here and right click and paste into that folder. And when I open it up, Lo and behold, there it is. I'll come back here. So we've done a cut and we've done a copy. And I, you know, you can copy two files. You can drag them over here. It would be a move. Put your control key on. It would be a, a copy. Or you can right click, copy this way. You can come right into the folder right click and paste. There's so many ways to do the same thing. People just develop their favorite way and use that all the time.